All right, Michael, in my opinion, this is one of the best speeches the president has given. I'm not typically a fan of State of the Union addresses. I think they're boring. I don't like the applause breaks. Not only was this good TV, this was good substance. This was not only one of the best speeches President Trump has given. I think it's the single best State of the Union address in American history. I don't think that's an exaggeration for three reasons. One, because of the stories that President Trump told. He is an excellent storyteller. He's the king of network TV. He's, he's been doing this for many decades, and it showed. Ronald Reagan, also very good at telling stories. The other reason were the reactions of those Democrats. I mean, if you could have scripted um, uh, the, that kind of villainous response and turned it into a Hollywood producer, they would have said, that's too obvious, Michael. You got to get that out of there. Ripping up the, the speech, I think. The alternative for Nancy Pelosi, of course, was ripping up the Constitution. She's been trying to do that for a very long time, too. The third reason why it was such a great speech was that the State of the Union really is strong. It actually was true. You know, the rhetoric was fine. The language was good. Trump uses the very best words. But the fact is, his administration has delivered. That low, those low unemployment numbers, the, that high economic growth, relative peace abroad, protection of our liberties, protection of our constitutional rights. It's actually simple stuff. It's not easy to do, but it's simple. He has delivered, and as a result, I, I mean, I think for the, uh, I've never watched a State of the Union address in my entire life where the country was doing so well. Right, and I, I agree with you on everything that you just said. I, I think, too, it's very important, and I said this in our live coverage last night, to remember that this is one of the few times the president is addressing directly the members of Congress whose cooperation he needs to achieve his legislative agenda and addressing the American people. Usually at his rallies, he's just talking to the American people or, you know, in meetings, he's talking to Congress members. But it's rarely that it's both uh, in this way. And the way that he went after the Democrats' health care plans, the way that he connected it to socialism, the way that he talked about wanting to protect pre-existing conditions, the way that he touted his administration's record of lowering Obamacare premiums by 60%, the way that he uh, just, it was an aggressive assault on Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All when he said, you know, these people want to abolish your private health insurance. And he called out 132 members sitting in that room who had voted in favor of taking away your coverage and forcing you onto a government mandated plan. That, I think, was one of the strongest criticisms of an opposing party's intended plan that I've ever seen in this venue.